you from Keiko Studios, it's The Balcony Show with Ann Thatcher, Bo Summer, Mike Roy, Donna Gallucci, and me, the Mad Cat. We have searched the globe for the best in indie music so you don't have to. So here we go, The Balcony Show. Friends in far away places, sing with love and good vibes. Just keep an eye out for just what's coming. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Balcony Show. Thanks for tuning in to your number one source for independent music. Oh. That, was, that was an audience. <laughs> and a bunch oh, of immature wait, adults be behind the, the scenes. <laughs> How's everybody doing this week? I'm awesome. I'm alive. I have a headache. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's very oh indicative of your species. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, on today's show, Super Stoked, we have Judd Harris. He was number four on American Idol, and he's got a, he's working on a new EP, and he's going to be here sharing three uh, s- singles from that mm, um, right. upcoming EP. And we're super stoked to get him because he is... Just really talented. I'm looking forward to, for you guys to everybody here to listen to his music because he's got kind of like this New Orleans thing going on. You know, he kind of went back to his native roots, but like gave it a twist. So um, we have that coming up in the interview. But first, <laughs> but first, I'm good. You know what? I I'm gonna do a thatch tag. I'm I'm saying it's a thatch tag, but I'm gonna let Mad Cat read it. Of course, because, of course she is. <laughs> And I think we should get that thing. This is another smooth criminal. I love smooth criminals. Yeah. You know, maybe yeah. because of my background, but a smooth criminal. So <laughs> that's good. So this is hashtag smooth criminal. Hashtag so, smooth criminal. Hit the music. Any is you okay? All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, smooth criminal caught at the border with pythons in his pants. <laughs> Oh, this is about me. Um, <laughs> New York City man fined and sentenced to probation. <laughs> Albany, New York. A New York City man who admitted to smuggling three Burmese pythons in his pants through a U.S.-Canadian border crossing was sentenced Wednesday to a year of probation and fined $5,000 federal, uh, $5, federal prosecutors said. Calvin Bautista, 38, crossed into northern New York with the hidden snakes on a bus <laughs> from snakes. Montreal uh, from Montreal to New York City on July 15th, 2018. The young the young adult, oh the young adult snakes were hidden in the inner thigh of his pants Ooh. in snake bags tied to his pants drawstring. Wow. No batteries required. So- wow. Number a, one, he's from the house of Slytherin. Yeah. Ah. Is that a snake in your pants? Are oh, you, you just, just happy, happy to, to see me? me? Yeah, right. <laughs> they, were discover- they were discovered by U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers, according to court documents, and a release from uh, the office of U.S. Attorney <laughs> Carla B. Friedman. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> the, the Queen's resident purchased the snakes which were worth more than uh, $2,500 at a reptile store in Canada, according to the court documents. Importation of Burmese pythons is regulated by an international treaty by the U.S. federal regulations, listing them as injurious to human beings. Mm. (laughs) No kidding. Yeah, right? Mad cat. Is Uh, that a python on your (laughs) pound? No, it's still a (laughs) tic-tac. But... Aren't, the, uh, the, aren't pythons? That's they get the to be twenty feet. Yeah, issue they get in to Florida. Be, yeah, yeah. yeah. Python All hunters. Those, yeah, or whatever. they're not native. But no. three of them, you might have been able to get away with one. Ew! And how long is an adult? Ugh. Well, that's oh, the so thing. Well, I mean, you do know, not, you don't like I mean, snakes, um, Bo. Oh my god! Uh, is that one of your things? Snakes, uh, yeah. scorpions, and really, oh, and snakes. I can't. They're, even, they're young adult snakes, so they're they're, they're probably they're probably only about four feet long each. Oh, oh only still, four feet in your pants. You that's what I'm saying. I, I walk around like that all the time. You I'd could be curious. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the wrong business. Yeah. <laughs> What's that website we can sell our tail pictures on? <laughs> so uh, since we're on that topic, oh, uh, the Burmese python, one of the world's largest snakes, is considered a vulnerable species in its native Asia. 
and is invasive in Florida where it threatens native animals. Uh, Bautista's attorney had no comment. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm not surprised. Dang. But yeah, so I think we ought to do a thing. I'm going to start looking for like some more I just don't, smooth criminals. I don't understand. That, that to me is, they're, they're, wow. the I just don't understand people, the smuggling of something that you can buy in this country with no problem. Yeah. He probably got them really cheap. He probably Let's spent. Go to Florida and get them for free. Yeah. Let's go to the Everglades. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, what are you thinking? Well, yeah, but you might get bit down there. I mean, there's gators and other yeah. things that, you oh, know. There's you other things that'll But you kill won't you. because there's a snake in a bag Maybe in your, in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, no, they don't really. They're not like bitey snakes. They're, <laughs> they're squeezers. Well, they can be. Yeah, they're, they're squeezers. squeezers. They're squeezers. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I mean they will. Like their job. <laughs> She's curious now. <laughs> <laughs> they're not venomous, but they, they can jack you up, yeah. They're like velvet. Keep Have going, you ever held going. a baby That's a one? Good way to put it. That? They're like velvet. The baby ones. I I almost got one of my my daughter is like she's like snakes. Yeah, no. And she was like freaking out, and I like was walking around with it on my wrist. It like wrapped itself around my wrist. And yeah, squeeze her. No, I no. It was great. I I I really like them. I like snakes, yeah. but. I don't think I want my snakes from somebody's pants like that. That's, uh, you know what I mean? Well, it, it might depend. But I would like to be in sitting next to him on the bus. Yeah, well. Oh, my God. Anyway, like, okay, your expense, Mad Cat. No, it's, your always, expense. it's always my expense. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I love Anyways, these topics. Uh, we're going to get started with a song from Christian Porter. He is a. Also, wasn't he on The Voice, right? Uh, he, yes, yes, he, he was, was on, on The Voice. The voice. Yep. He was on The Voice, and now he recently put out uh, an album called Collections of Myself. Collaborations, Collaborations with Myself. With myself. And, he's, get right. and he's living in Colorado now. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. 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 Oh, good for him. Yeah, he's, but, make, he's making some nice connections out there. He's doing good. Anyways, um, so we're going to get started with one of his songs mm. from Collaborations with Myself, and the name of the song is Somewhere. So take a listen, and we'll be right back with the show. I want to love, I want to live, I want to be with you To a point where it's like sweet deja vu Yes, I do With you With you Take me away from a day when I'm without you To a place far away from this crowd of you So I'm just
Hey, folks, welcome back to The Balcony Show. And right now, we have the first song from tonight's interview with Judd Harris. The song is called Simple Life. Nothing simple about my life here at The Balcony Show, but I'll tell you what. Give this song a listen. When you come back, we're going to have Judd on the line. Here we go. They'll tell you you're too young Then they'll tell you it's too late Time won't wait for anyone And good things come to those who wait So I found out There's no guarantee A simple life Just you and me So I turned in my subway car City life was just too hard Quit my job, I quit my life Packed my house, I packed my wife Just her and me Welcome to The Balcony Show, and we are very excited because we have Judd Harris on the line. You may have known him from American Idol, but he has a brand new EP coming out, and we are really excited because we are going to be sharing a few of the singles that is from his forthcoming EP. Um, welcome, Judd. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I got to tell you that, um, you know, I... Really, really like where you're going with your music. I think it feels really authentic to who you are, if that makes sense to you. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely what I think about my new music. I mean, I think for a long time as an artist, I I was in bands and and playing music that was sort of akin to the people that I loved listening to. 
And so it took me many years to get to the point where I realized that I can't be my heroes, that as much as I love Prince, you know, my days of wearing leather pants are probably back <laughs> back in uh, the 90s. <laughs> you know, <laughs> So I kind of just realized that, like, I can't be anybody but me. And if that's not like as cool as I want it to be, well, tough, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm trying to make the music that is authentically mine at this point. And so what that is, is something uh, positive, which may not be very cool. <laughs> and something that is no, I know, love rooted it. in New Orleans, rooted in the beach, because that's sort of where my life is. Um, so our listeners just heard their first song, Simple Life. And um, you want to tell us a little bit about Simple Life and how this project Absolutely. came to be? Sure. So that's off of my first EP. It's called The Beach EP. And uh, I wrote that about, it was autobiographical. I was writing about a move that I made from New York City to the Dominican Republic. And the story behind that is that a friend of ours passed away in his 30s. And we were living in New York City, me and my wife. And we realized that this life thing that we're experiencing is not forever. And so we looked at each other and we said, you know what? We've always talked about living in the Caribbean. Let's just do it. Let's find a way. So we started making plans. And without a, within about a year, we had moved from New York City to a little fishing village in the Dominican Republic called Las Terrenas. And Good that's where I you. am right now. Oh, that's, that's my fantastic. Dream. <laughs> so that particular song really is about that move, about realizing that life is not forever and you, you know, you've got to start living the life that you want right now. Um, so it's sort of my uh, idea of what beachy music maybe sounds like through my perspective. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's my story. Well, I got to say it's a good one. And I got I also want to encourage our listeners to go to YouTube because um there's a thing on there that you did five things you wish you would have known. And oh, yeah. um I really would like you to talk a little bit about the just quickly about the five things because as you know, we are a platform for independent artists and I think from where you came and the things that you've it really resounded with me and and I think it will it's it's a good information for upcoming artists sure um I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna remember everything that I said but because um, it's been a little bit a little while but um you know some of the things that I remember talking about were about kind of not waiting for somebody else to come along who's gonna t you know make all of your musical dreams come true that it just never really happens if you're just waiting around you know we have this romantic image in our head of of this person who's sitting in a in a diner or something and some hollywood exec says i'm gonna put you in movies kid you know <laughs> and that's just never the way it happens not in in the real world uh you know maybe some people get lucky but i think on the whole it's mostly people working really hard and working really consistently over a very long period of time and so you know there were times when i met people in the industry and I thought that this person was could be the key to all of my dreams coming true and I may have acted like a complete fool in front of those people <laughs> um, but you know I think I came to the realization that if I can just work hard and every day and keep at it um, you can make real progress and I think I'm I'm proof of that and I like the thing about humility too I, I I can't say that enough that, you know, you, the connections you meet that with or make with people as you're coming up and, you know, um, remember them, remember them and honor them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I think it's about seeing industry professionals as partners or potential partners. Right. That they're, you know, working in, the, in an industry and, and you need each other, you know, so just Love that. kind of looking for ways to work with people and definitely treating everybody with respect and not talking behind people's back and <laughs> being a nice person, you know, being somebody easy to work with is probably important too. And now you're partnered with uh, producer David Sh Schoenwetter. Uh, he did Nora Jones, Rufus Rainwhite, Death Cab for Cutie. How does that feel and how did that come about? So Dave, um, I met through a platform online and I was actually looking for a producer because I had all this music that I had written. I actually embarked upon a project of writing 30 songs in 30 days. And um, this was sort of a, one of my pandemic projects 
when I couldn't play live shows. And I kind of thought, you know, I watched the the Beatles documentary and I remember hearing that that uh, Paul McCartney wrote one song a day, get up, have a coffee, write a song and then go on with the rest of his day. And I thought, what if I could write a song a day? You know, I could get better at songwriting and who knows, maybe I would end up with some song, you know, maybe one out of 30 would be really good, <laughs> something that I wanted to record. And I surprised myself both in being able to do it, but also how much good material I actually got. So I had all these songs I was looking for a great producer to start working on them. And I interviewed a lot of people and I ended up talking to Dave Schoenwetter and, um, you know, it was between him and one other person actually. And my wife said, you know, which one of these people do you get along with? Seems like a good guy, you know, (laughs) it turned out that Dave just seemed really chill and a cool guy. And, uh, you know, that really does matter because you're going to spend a lot of time with this person. So I'm glad that I went that way. And uh, we've had a great working relationship. He's so talented and has brought so much to my music. I'm really grateful for him. Which brings us to the newest single, uh, NOLA. Did I say that right? Sure. Um, Yeah, it's NOLA, like New Orleans, Louisiana. N-O-L-A, NOLA. Okay. Um, This is crazy good. You can't even... I I love the, the, the Bayou kind of feel, and then there's pop, and then there's horns, and then there's... Like you kind of put a bunch of stuff together and made it work, like really made it yeah. work. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you and saying even that. reggae um, a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you guys think? It's put together very well, like with everything right. Ann just said, with all the pieces, it, you make it fit. Yeah. To me, I mean, it's, it's New Orleans funk, you know, that's uh, the <laughs> meters. That's all these artists that I grew up with because I grew up in New Orleans. So for me, um, that's like a love letter to my hometown. Well, it's yeah, a good that's one. Awesome. Mm-hmm. It's I'm a good one. I'm glad you like it. So let us take a break here, Judd, and let our, we're going to let our listeners hear this fantastic song, uh, Nola. So here it is, and we'll be right back with Judd. Down to the river bed. Voodoo magic gonna kill my head. Only down in New Orleans. Anything that you wanna be. Garden district to Fukure. Feel it gumbo to Etouffee. Take me down to New Orleans. Living easy is a way of life. Crescent City gonna treat you right. Dirty loose, somebody grab day. Hear that Jack and Mofi Nadi. Drinking, smoking, and feeling fine. Come on, join in that second line. Take me down to New Orleans. So put a glide in your stride and come down with me. Take your queen to the scene where the streets never sleep. In the summer, spring, winter, or in the fall, you got to go to the city where they have it. Yeah, you right If a teen is gonna rock tonight Never Brothers and E.K. Doe my time is fast down the new Alan to St. Bartholomew Dr. John and Booker too Take me down to New Orleans So put a glide in your stride And come down with me Take your queen to the scene Where the streets never sleep the summer, spring, winter, fall. In the fall, you got to go to the city when they have it all. And you might just decide to never leave once you get a taste of New Orleans. Hey now, hey now. 
Hey folks, welcome back to the Balcony Show. Uh, we are on the line with Judd Harris. Uh, so Judd, now you're living in the Dominican Republic. So now, do you do you still like tour? Do you still perform uh, like various places? What, what do you got going on there for our listeners? So that's a great question uh, because I am currently trying to build up an online presence on TikTok. So I've been doing these online concerts three nights a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern um, on TikTok, which is a great way when you're in a teeny tiny fishing village in the Dominican <laughs> Republic to reach a lot more people. Right. I was going to say, so any, any have, gigs you have in that little cute fishing town? Yeah, I do have a wedding that I'm doing at the end of March. But, um, you know, this is something that I'm trying to build right now. So I'm very focused on that. Yeah, that's um, awesome. And, you know, my hope is that I can build up a big enough audience that when I'm back in New York, which is not so infrequently, um, I will have some demand to start performing there as well, which I used to do before I left. Awesome. All right. So the final song that our listeners are going to hear tonight is Endless Days. Some days are endless. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> but I think I meant it in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're married 32 years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. You know what I mean? But I, I just, I, all of your music, this this music is so feel good and we need it, it so it's bad. It's positive. It's fun. It makes you feel good. It's a good vibe. I love it. You know, get in the car, put this music on, take a drive. You're going to really enjoy yourself. And I... It's not overcomplicated, but it is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can I can hear some of the things and some of the choices that you've made, and and I really applaud you for that. I mean, some of the things I think you take a little bit of a chance with, and then they work. So, um, but talk about endless days. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a pretty nostalgic person, and I loved songs like. These Days by Jackson Brown and Boys of Summer by Don Henley. And that this song is kind of my idea of a nostalgic kind of tune, a little bit classic rock, a little bit pop. And um, it's really just about the endless days of your youth. You know, when when everything's laid out before you and you're absolutely sure you're going to accomplish all the things you want to accomplish and you don't you can take your time. You know, you're not in any rush because you've got your whole life ahead of you. And, you know, eventually <laughs> you uh, you get knocked around by life a little bit and you find out that, you know, maybe not everything's going to happen that you want it to happen or it's not going to happen as easily as you want it to happen. And, right. you know, and you get to an age where you start looking back and you think, wow, I was so innocent and so, so young. But I also and so I, hopeful, I that right? time, you, know? <laughs> you think of it, you think of it as uh, um, these golden years when you really, you know, you you didn't see so much of the bad of the world maybe i always say if i could take back what i know now to when i was younger mm -hmm. oh, we'd all be <laughs> we'd, we'd all, all be perfect you know and i think you ask <laughs> yourself perfect. you ask yourself is it too late to do some of these things that i want to do as you get older and um there's a great quote that i really like that says um i think it's george Eliot, and he said it's never too late to be what you might have been ah that's really great and and uh, maybe quote. we'll leave it there. You know what I mean? Because I think that kind of sums up what you're doing. And mm -hmm. so I'm going to encourage our listeners to definitely go to TikTok, catch a live performance from Judge. You're going to want to do that because he's fantastic. And uh, we're going to continue to watch your journey. Um, if you have new music, please send it to us because uh, we definitely want to, you know, Keep our listeners abreast and where the, you can go to judgeharris.com. Um, Absolutely. So uh, you can check out what he's got going on there too. And if any, if you are playing in New York, you got to drop us a, a note. Oh, we absolutely. We will come to see you. I would love to have you guys come check it out. And we're all really jealous of you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> Especially after that foot of snow you just got, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What's the temperature today and where you are? 
Uh, the temperature here is the average is about 80 degrees. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. What am I doing Sounds here great. in Pennsylvania? <laughs> so we're going to take a listen to Endless Days by Judd Harris. And we'll be right back with the rest of the show. Any final shout outs to anybody, Judd? Uh, just a big thank you to you guys. I'm so appreciative <laughs> for everybody who features independent music. It's it's really hard out here for us independent musicians. <laughs> yes. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for featuring this music. All right. So take a listen to <laughs> Endless Days, Judd Harris, and we'll be right back with the rest of the show.
Folks, welcome back to another Mad Cats Mad Tracks. This week's Mad Cats Mad Tracks, we have the song Start Again by Tom Harrison. Give it a listen. Tom Harrison, start again. Tom Harrison, start again. <laughs> Give it a listen. Here we go. Drop your cards and your life. Leave it all behind Your former selves like paper in the wind We could start again We could start again We could start again We could start again, could start again. Could start again in the morning time we can start on this week's Indie Radar. Proud to announce and excited for all of you singer-songwriters out there. Um, AmericanSongwriter.com. Check it out. They just opened their 2024 song contest, songwriting contest. Um, It is now open. Check out their website to get some information about what the requirements are. There's a ton of prizes, money, and um, I think last year, just for perspective, I think Jelly Roll was one of the judges last year, which is kind of cool. So go on to americansongwriter.com. And if you think you got it, uh, check it out. It might help propel your career maybe to the next level. So it's worth a shot. And definitely check out another uh, one of the other tabs on their website. They do have other contests that are running. And one of them caught my eye. It was called Road Ready. And that was specific for unsigned artists, bands, duos, rappers, all kinds of genres. And pretty much if the, if you, I don't know what the requirements are, but if you're quote road ready, it's a contest to maybe put you out on the road. So that's another awesome opportunity. So definitely check that out. Uh, very exciting. American for the 2024 song contest for this year. I'd like to remind you that the balcony show is proudly produced at Keiko Studios in Penn Argyll, Pennsylvania. So hit them up for all your musical production needs. Go to KeikoStudios.com and make your appointment today. Welcome to another edition of Mike's Music Box. Inside, you're going to hear some stories of the macabre, the paranormal, 
and the strange. So stay tuned if you dare. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Mike's Music Box. Tonight, we will be talking about rock stars and their ghostly encounters, part one. Well, I think I've talked about it a few times, so who knows what part we're on. Let's start off tonight with uh, a little something about some something we we all might know. Uh, we we know these people, uh, Sonny and Cher, and uh, and of course this is open up to my colleagues here at the table as well if they want to chime in with anything. I want to ask: uh, Do you believe in life after death? Yeah. Yes, without a doubt. Oh, because I know uh, pop icon Cher certainly does. The legendary hit maker has claimed more than once that she receives playful visits from her late ex-husband, Sonny Bono. Oh, I know. I know. I have personally experienced things. Mm. Yeah, I so, have as well. Without a doubt. Yeah. Um, she basically told the TMZ reporters, it's a total peaceful thing. She also responded to a question regarding whether or not she believes in spirits via a Reddit MA. AMA post. Uh, her answer to it was absolutely not. I love ghosts. And I actually think that Sonny makes the light go on once in a while in the house. Whenever something shuts off and turns back on, she claims it's him. And well, you know, they were great friends. I think they, they remained really great yeah. friends. Oh yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, uh, quickly taking the genre into another direction, we're going to talk about Ariana Grande. So Ariana Grande did not hold back about her belief in demons in an interview with Complex in 2013. According to some, fear of demons is a typical Florida thing. And as a Floridian, I got to say that, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. That's all that voodoo <laughs> down there. Who do yeah, voodoo? Yeah, you think so? The swamp? Um, but the pop singer uh, chose to discuss a particular experience that took place in Kansas at the Stull Cemetery, rumored to be one of the Eight earthly portals into hell. Ooh. Grande recalls smelling sulfur in the car on the way there, which according to her is the sign of a demon. And then seeing three distinct faces in the background of a photo she took to try to see if the ominous feeling that she had picked up on revealed anything. She claims to have had, uh, seen a huge black mass and red demonic flashes while she was walking around said cemetery which I don't think I'd be walking around much. Never. I'd no, be I'd be out of there. Never. Yeah. Yeah. So. Never. <laughs> um, but sticking with the pop genre, let's talk about uh, Adele. So Adele's Haunted Mansion. Once multi-platinum pop star Adele moved into a beautiful new $6 million home in 2012. And you should see the size of this house. I mean, it's massive. The picture of it. I don't know if I don't know how many people she has living Oof, there, but it's a lot of people. It's too big. I mean, I want, it's a yeah, huge house. I don't want to um, live in a mausoleum. <laughs> <laughs> she began to hear strange noises that gave her the creeps. Yep, Mo that's it. Yeah, moans, talking from empty rooms, and oh, no. scratching along the walls. Bye bye. Could bye. not be explained <laughs> by anyone. The singer's lavish 25-acre West Sus uh, Sussex property had previously been a convent fit with its very own chapel. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Bye-bye. Apparently, Adele was so spooked by the sounds that she heard that she upped her security to around-the-clock surveillance and tacked on two additional groundsmen to protect her from whatever the spirits may have been lurking about. See? You know, when you know. got money, you can do that. But, you know, right. if it was one of us, yeah, yeah. you're just stuck just with whatever move. that, <laughs> whatever that thing is, it's going to be hanging there. Man. And the best you can do is just tell it to get the hell out of there. And think about it. 25 <laughs> acres. There's probably so much stuff on, on this plot of land. Oh my God. That's not and even discovered. No and the history of it. You know how it. bad the history of the convents yeah. and stuff yeah. are. Yeah. Yikes. So, uh, I don't know if she's still there or not, probably. But, uh, so anyways, I want to thank everybody for listening to another edition of Mike's Music Box here on the Balcony Show. And until we that speak cool. again, mm -hmm. sleep tight. Thank you, <laughs> Mike. It's time for the spotlight portion of our show, where we showcase new singles from returning guests. And your host is Donna Franken Gallucci. Hey, everybody. Hey, Donna Gallucci. Here I am. Gallucci's here. <laughs> 
Welcome to Spotlight, everybody. We have a great new song to tell you about by Guy Paul Thibault. But before that, I have to say something I want to share with everybody. Okay. Um, that means a lot to me because it, it just knocked me, knocked my socks off. Um, I watched the Grammys for the first time this year <laughs> in a very long time. I haven't been watching it for many years. I, I just wasn't in, interested in it anymore. Just it was just so much like musicians bashing each other and yeah. a lot of political stuff and a lot of agendas. And I just couldn't get into all of that. But this year I decided to watch it because there was some cool stuff going on. Billy Joel was uh, performing his new single that yes. he just put out, yep. which was a great, great uh, performance. And Tracy Chapman performed. Yes, that Best was car, which was awesome. And Joni Mitchell. That's what I really want to talk about. Yeah, Did anybody that. see that? Yes. Yeah. I was crying like a baby watching her. She was just amazing. Singing both sides now. I mean, she's been through so much in her life. Yeah. And she had a brain aneurysm, um, I think 2015. Oh, that's right. And she had yeah. to learn to play guitar again, to sing again, to walk again. And to just like see her up on that stage. <laughs> There was not a dry eye in the house that yeah. during I, that performance. I think it was just, to, for me, it was just her presence. Her presence and, and, and the lyrics of the song, how like it's come full circle for right. her now. Right. You know, yeah. uh, uh, you know, the song like brings you through a journey of like childhood and innocence and then, you know, adulthood. I thought the Grammys and, were good this year though. And now, you know, being 80 years old and how she was keeping time with her cane and it was, it was just a beautiful, beautiful thing. It was a, very very powerful performance and yeah. i it's i've been waiting it's finally out on youtube the grammys put it put out the video on youtube i think like four days ago i've been waiting for it to come out and i'm still crying every time i watch Aww. it so i just suggest everybody go on youtube yeah. if you want to see a really great performance and yeah before she's gone she's, yeah. she's a legend and, and the great thing about it a lot of the comments on youtube are from young people like in their 20s and in their 30s saying wow you know, I was so touched by this performance. Yeah. We were all crying like and her learning her music. And yeah. yeah, so it just shows you the power of music. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit because I thought that was really awesome. Um, and now to our new song by uh, Guy Paul Chabot, Table for One. What a great song. I love it's, his voice. Oh, it's, he has a great voice and this is a great song for his voice. Just an acoustic song, you know, just him and his guitar. Um, he's an incredibly talented singer songwriter. And he does it all. He writes, he records, mixes, masters, and produces all his own music from uh, his hometown in Nova Scotia. And his 2019 album, The Road Between, uh, awarded him the International Album of the Year from the International Singer-Songwriters Association. So that's really cool and a great honor for him. And it's just awesome that he keeps continuing to put out new great music like this. And just like this song that you guys are going to hear tonight. His voice is very, very, very distinctual. Like you, <laughs> there are a lot of people that sound like somebody or sound, but right. Guy Paul sounds like Guy Paul. There's no, he's like, uh, I, I always call him like my Neil Diamond kind of guy. Because right. you're, or Gordon Lightfoot in, in that kind of vein, because his voice is his Very voice. Very distinctive voice. You know when it's him, for but it's sure. it's so good. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's And it's a great new song. It's about um, what he went through during the pandemic, trying to be on tour, when you're kind of like in a bubble and you really can't right. hang around people, nobody backstage, you're right. kind of lonely. But, of course, the listener could take on any, uh, any uh, what they think the song means to them, of course. So, great song. I hope everybody likes it. Please go... Um, at www.guipaultibo.com to see what he's up to and where he's playing and all things new about him. And please download his music and check out his Facebook. You're going to be happy that you did. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Donna. Well, here we go. Table for one.
Well, it's another hotel room, another lonely night. If I'm not home by morning, leave on the counter light. Maybe if this weather breaks, I can drive through the night. But it's another hotel room, another lonely night. I first started out, I was a man of simple dreams Share a little of myself, I tried so hard to please A hundred thousand miles brought me to my knees Lost a little of myself, abandoned my beliefs Table for one, always on the run Gotta keep on moving, always under the gun Can't survive living any other way Gotta keep on moving every day I look at my children, I think of all I've missed A stranger in their eyes, a ghost and a myth Someday they might forgive me if I had a wish But they'll never understand my place in all this Table for one, always on the run Gotta keep on moving, always under the gun Can't survive living any other way Gotta keep on moving every day Another hotel room, another lonely night If I'm not home by morning, leave on the counter Maybe if this weather breaks, I can drive through the night But it's another hotel room, another lonely night Another hotel room, another lonely night Thanks for tuning in and listening to another great show here. Judd Harris, thank you for being a part of the show. Can't wait to see what happens with him. My goodness, he's yeah. talented. Yeah. So head on over to TikTok and catch one of his live shows. For sure, you're going to want to be a part of that. Um, we have some really great bands coming up in the future, so stay tuned because you're going to want to hear some of the music that we have coming up on board. And if you would like to get on the show, Reverb Nation is the place to go. I do uh, listen to all the music that's up there. So that's your best bet these days um, on getting on the show. With that, uh, anything else, Mad Cat? I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, low, low, low. Every now and then, you just got to throw her a softball, you know what I mean? You're so kind. Yes. <laughs> With that, I'm going to tell everybody... Good night, everybody from the Balcony Show. We'll catch you next week. We're going to end things tonight with the song Carolina by Water Street, another local band to us. Check them out. And remember to hide your python. <laughs> <laughs> girl could leave and head to Carolina Left behind a note for me to find That said she had to find herself Oh Carolina Hanging on to memories for so long I tried to hide them But every time I give them up She always calls me up to revive them Oh Carolina Your things Just running out Oh, to forget everything Oh, oh Carolina I 
that dream to head to Carolina Bringing all the memories that you left And I was left to survive on, on Carolina